At SkyberCam, we use radio-controlled helicopters, and we can take pictures that no other aircraft can. We are allowed to fly below 500 feet because we are not a full-scale aircraft, and this allows us to take photos such as real estate photography, advertising photography, and engineering photography, and allows us to capture angles that are of greater benefit than those from full-scale aircraft. When we get to a location, we start by choosing our takeoff point. The helicopter is capable of vertical takeoffs, which allows us to operate in almost any condition. Once I'm airborne, my camera operator communicates with me via two-way headsets and directs me to the precise elevation and location to get the shot that we're after. SkyberCam has a video downlink that goes directly from the helicopter to a video monitor inside our vehicle and we're capable of taking a photo at any given instant, at any given time, at the direction of the client. And another shot. The camera operator controls the pan and tilt of the camera. We can face the helicopter into the wind for the most stable flight and then the camera can work independently and get the precise angle we're looking at for the shoot. Digital images allow us to record dozens, sometimes hundreds of photos per flight. This allows us to choose the most desirable photo after we've landed and downloaded the photos. that looks like something straight out of a James Bond movie. It's aerial photography shot from a remote control helicopter. Our Matsu Valley photojournalist Matt Cassens takes us behind the scenes and in the air to showcase the next generation of photography. Well, since I was young, I've always been interested in uh, unmanned vehicles, whether it was radio controlled cars or airplanes or helicopters. <laughs> My job's a camera operator. I run the camera from inside the vehicle. I've got a monitor that I view, and I run the camera left and right and take the actual photo. My job is to fly the aircraft into the position Tom directs me to, and then to hold it as stable as possible to acquire the photos we're seeking. Well, 
Well, the military has been the leader in it, and I think this is a spin-off from the military applications. There are Marines out there now with similar aircraft on their backpack. They can walk to a canyon, pull an aircraft off their backpack, fly around the corner, and see if there are uh, combative units around the corner. 500 feet and below, any photos from that altitude, this is essentially the only aircraft that's going to get you those photos. In addition to uh, pan and tilt on the camera, the uh, camera operator has a live video downlink feed and is seeing the flight from the camera's point of view. Uh, we're going to be down in the grass in just a second. Come a little closer, he's walking it in. Walking up on us. This is what it looks like being a dog. <laughs> 